Hey everybody, welcome back to Clay Makes. Today we're going to be starting a new series with new special guest. But I don't think I just want to give it away, Daddy. Oh, come on. Don't leave them in suspense. They all know who it is. I'm sure they read the description. On with the show. Hello, everybody. My name is Mickey Mouse. Yes, welcome everybody. I would- I just said that, Steve. So first things first, you started with my head, right? Yes, Mickey. Just take a ball of clay, and you'll see that I put in some reference marks where the face was going to be. You mean that X you put in the middle? Yes, Mickey. Okay. Then I rolled out a banana-shaped piece and pinched the edges so that it would be easier to blend in. You will notice I placed it on the horizontal reference mark. Oh. So that's what they're for. Yes, Mickey. They just help to place things on the face. Then I filled under it with more clay. This is where the mouth will go. Oh, so should I not be talking yet because you haven't given me a mouth? <laughs> Mickey, you're, you're fine. Then just roll out some snakes of clay and curve them and place them on the side of the face. This is going to be the cheeks. Now for the mouth, I just started a little right from center and curved it into the cheek on the other side. Again, it looks like a big banana. If you want to be the top banana, you gotta start from the bottom. No, 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 Mickey, you, you can't sing that. This is YouTube. Aww. Anyways, I then used the reference line to start the eye, which is just an oval shape. And then just three little lines to get the closed eye. Then I take a straight tool and cut in around the mouth. Then add a little bit to the bottom of the chin to get that triangle chin shape. My chin is like that because I'm always smiling. Now just a little ball of clay for the nose. Now for the iconic ears, just take two balls of the same size and squish it between your fingers. The size of Mickey's ears varies by which picture you look at, so you really can't get it wrong here. Now when you press them on, just make sure they are off from the center. And pressing them down a little is fine here because you will notice that Mickey's ears are not perfect circles. They are squished a little bit. Hey, no one's perfect. Now, while the head is baking, we will start on Pluto's head. Oh, Pluto, you're coming to life, pal. Simply start out with a rolled piece of clay and bend it in the middle. The top half will be for the eyes and the other will be for the snout, which you press flatter to get it uh, wide at the front. Then mark down the front for the round lips and mark three lines on top for the wrinkles using a tool to shape them. Then cut on a diagonal like this so then we can turn the cutoff piece around and use it for the bottom part of the mouth. Now to draw on the eyes, they are just two long oval shapes with smaller ovals inside for the pupils. And then a ball for the nose. Aww. Now snake out some clay and wrap it around the eyes. Now, like with Mickey, just add on two curved pieces for the cheeks, cutting the mouth up to fit. Then two small balls go on the side of the head for the ears to hang from later. Now for the tongue, just roll out more clay and press it flat, making sure to make one end larger. And then add the detail line down the center. Pluto. 
Next for the ears. I just rolled out a flat sheet of clay and basically cut out two long tongue shapes or long teardrop shapes. Oh, I love Pluto's floppy ears. Now back to Mickey's body. Oh boy, back to me. It starts with a simple cylinder shape and gets smaller towards the top, curving it slightly. Now since the arms are thin, we need to put some armature wire in there. Just refer to the image you are using because the sizes will all be different. And then just cover them in a roll of clay and stick them in. Now for Mickey's feet. I have big feet. Yes, you do, actually. Each foot is just over half of his head. Start by rounding off one end and then pressing down the other. Then roll out some clay and make little Cheerios and place them on top. And then the legs are the same as the arms. And for my pose, they are straight. I have tiny little legs. Then roll out a thin piece of clay and cut two small discs out of them. These will be the pant legs. Now for the hands, start out with two balls of equal clay and press them flat. Then make sort of a triangle shape out of them. Now we will cut small strips of armature wire for all the fingers. That's eight in total. No pinkies for me. Now cut out pieces from a roll of clay and make those fingers. Then press in the fingers on the long side of the triangle piece. Now add in some details and the thumb. and then add some more Cheerios to the bottom. Now you can make the pants a separate piece, but I just pressed in the line with a flat tool. There's my pants. Now cut out two small discs, press them flat, and you have the two buttons. Now back to Pluto. Oh look, they're back to you, pal. Just roll out a body like we did for Mickey, but at one end, squeeze out a little neck and the other end is just a lot smaller. Now for the legs. I took a square and rounded out the top of it. Then I cut down the middle to get the bent kind of leg. You could have just as easily done this with two separate pieces. Then cut one at an angle that is going to attach to the lower body. Then cut in the toes. I will actually show you how to do those when we do the front legs. Now for the front legs. Just roll out a long piece, make sure it's bigger at the bottom, and cut it off. Now here is how I did the paws of the feet. I just pressed into the leg and pulled out the clay I needed. You could easily just attach a small disc of clay to the bottom though.
Now after the last bake, it's time to primer and paint. We are almost done. Oh boy! So here there is not much to say about the painting, only that I painted the face first, then the black on top of that. I didn't even mix any special colors for Mickey. See you in a bit. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about the airbrush and mixing the paint and what paint to use. The funny thing is, I just really use cheap dollar paints. I use the glass jar to mix it so I can see how much paint I have in there. And the liquid I put in is just water. About half paint, half water. That's it. For Pluto, I did mix a little bit of orange into some yellow. But other than that, Pluto was very basic as well. Hey, welcome back everybody. Sorry the video is actually very long this time. I actually had it planned to be two separate videos, but uh, the way that I had everything set up and the poses that the characters were in, it just actually really didn't make sense for me to split them up. So I had to make them all one video, which was actually a lot more work and 
a lot more tedious than I thought it would be. I'm actually surprised the video was actually out on time this week. But, as always, thank you so much for watching everybody, and I will see you all next week. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. 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 Oh crap. <coughs> I used to be so much better at this. <coughs>